Right, hi folks, welcome to my channel. So today I have got my HF coil out and I don't use it very much, mainly because I only have pastures, my permissions, and I just prefer the 13 inch coil, it gives me more coverage. Um, but I was wondering the other day if a higher frequency and a smaller coil might help me get between some bits and bobs. Um, because there's a lot of crap on this field. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I've, I'm up the uh, I'm up the 31 kilohertz frequency, and if it, if that's too high, I'll bring it down to 14. But um, yeah, we'll we'll see if the HF coil is any good on pasture. I'll see you on the first hole. Okay, my first hole, I'll show you what it sounded like. I'm in the hot program, by the way. Um, I've got the sensitivity up to 94. I'm on minus 6.4 discrimination and frequency 31.3. So first thing today, give me a 75 on the VDI. I think when it was in the hole, it was giving me 72. So not much difference. It's my old friend, the post office bag seal. That one says N Castle on it, so from Newcastle. Okay, don't think I've got one of them. That will go in my shitty bag seal museum. Okay, there's something else. This was about, uh, I don't know, four inches down, I suppose. Give me an 82, it was at the time. It's 87 now. Quite nice and loud and definite digger. But it's um, it's a little badge. I think it's a Tom Fun badge, you get these quite a lot up this part of the world. This one's got the pill on it though, which is unusual. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with um, the program so far. Uh, the coil, sorry. And uh, I'm going to carry on. I, think, I don't think I've ever worked at this higher frequency before. Um, I usually find that I am just spend too much time digging tiny little blobs, but getting on right a bit so far so we'll carry on uh, this one sounds okay I think although I'm pretty inexperienced with the HF coil so you'll have to bear with me if this is crap 85 XY screen looks good still 85 doesn't give me any funky iron noises even when I move back off it let's pinpoint it One of the main differences I know with the HF coil as compared to the 13 inch coil which I normally use is how light it is. Now the Deus is light anyway and the 35, the 13 inch coil is the biggest one and it's still not heavy with that on but with the HF coil on it just seems like it weighs virtually nothing. Right now I've dug that out, it sounds absolutely horrible, hang on. Uh, washer bum okay my first coin give me an 86 it was only about two inches down I think uh, half penny I guess I'm not gonna get, I don't think I'll get much off that but if I clean it and there's anything there, I think it's George V. I'll show you a picture. I'm not going to show you every single pre-decimal copper I find, um, but I'll show you a few just so you get an idea of the tones and stuff on the HF coil. Right, this one wasn't particularly loud, but it did get my attention. It sounds better now. It's just on the edge of that clod there. So I guess it's about, I don't know, four inches down. Let's have a look at it. I think it's a coin. 
not a button. Uh, it's not something I recognise immediately. Let's give it a brush, hang on. So, I mean, one of the things I worry about when using, using higher frequencies is, is the depth. But I seem to be doing okay. I don't know if I'm missing other deep stuff that I would normally get with my 13-inch coil, but I'm finding things, so I can't complain too much. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's odd. It's not a penny or a half penny. And there's some pattern or something going on here. So maybe it's a commemorative token or something like that. Uh, there's something on the back as well, but I can't really see it. I'll have to give that a clean up and I'll show you a picture if I can get anything off that. Okay, I think this sounds okay. How many times have I said that and it's been absolute crap? 88, 89. Doesn't make any iron noises, I don't think. Right, let's see. Mm, unfortunately, just a bit of round lead. I don't know if this is a bit of old horse tack or a, a shoe buckle. It was a nice signal though, give me a 95. About five inches down that was. Yeah, probably horse tack. Right, there's something in this clod so I can see green. That's giving me an 86. Uh, I am finding stuff, it's just mostly just bits of lead and bits of scrap copper. I did say there's a lot of crap in this field, and there really is, but it's just nothing you can do about it. Looks like a penny. Can I see the date? I think it's Victorian, I think I can see an 18. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, I think it's a florin 81, but it's not a silver one, it's a poxy cupro nickel one. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, you can see it there. Ugh. Okay, this was quite deep down, I think, about, I don't know, six inches or so. Give me an 89. There's something in the spoil here, I don't know what it is, I think it's just a penny. So, I mean, I'm nearly done. I've run out of time, I think I've been out here a couple of hours nearly. Yeah, I don't know who that is. But um, I've had plenty of finds, just but mostly bits of lead. Um, and what I've shown you, keys as well, a couple of keys, stuff like that. So I am I am finding things, but it's just been one of those days where I've just not found anything that good. But I'm happy with the coil, no problems at all with that. Um, it's just been not that productive. I just don't think I've walked over anything good. And that's the way it is. Yeah, just 30 seconds after that other penny, I've got another one. 95 you can see the um, imprint there and it just fell in the hole I think it's another penny and it's fairly deep down isn't it about I don't know three or four inches so I don't think I'm missing much right, hopefully you'll be able to see this because I'm losing light but that's given me a 80 not a super high signal but it's a it's a Victorian farthing and I find lots of blinking farthings, trust me, but uh, I don't find many Victorian ones. I think that says, um, it might say 1890, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, but there's uh, Vicky on the back. And it was just there, so, what, two and a bit inches down? And um, I guess a lot of finds are really in the top sort of four inches aren't they really so you're not missing much if you're using a high frequency coil i don't think hello right i'm about to pack up and walk back to my car um i found a lot uh, a lot of bits of lead quite a few coins and bits and bobs as you've seen um, so I will definitely give the HF coil another go on this bit of uh, pasture 
Um, it is good for getting into the around the busy bits where there's a lot of signals and just, you just want to pick out the good bits. I still think I was getting decent depth. I was finding stuff at five, six inches, stuff like that. Um, so I'm not worried about the depth too much. I think it is better on the 13 inch coil for depth and you're obviously getting more coverage. I think my go-to on, on my pasture commissions is always going to be the 13 inch coil. Um, but when I fancy a change or if I think that I've I want to just do something different in an area to see if I've missed anything. I'm definitely going to get the um, high frequency call out. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, please consider subscribing. That would be jolly nice of you. If you're out, good luck. I'll catch you later.